Now is the best time to start a company in Chicago. There has never been a better time. Many of you may not realize that J.P. Morgan Chase is a great innovator. We also have already this year uh, lent over $12 billion to small businesses and entrepreneurial startups. Facebook gets launched simply as a way for Zuckerberg to get girls, let's be honest. Um, next thing you know, Mubarak's out of a job. And we had no idea, we have no clue of how much information is available and how it's going to change our ability in so many ways. That's the law of exponentials. It's really, really exciting to see what's going on in this community. When I, when I talk to startups, it seems that they're not talking about the problems they're solving enough. They're talking about they have soda. They're talking about how, you know, you can dress cool or whatever, or you can do all this stuff. That's, that doesn't get people excited about solving a problem. What gets people excited about solving the problem is the problem. The question is, what about the future? You know, we think that this connected world is just beginning, and so we're going to be able to use the cell connections to construct a tremendous amount of information. How in God's name do I bring together 40, 50 million rows or more of this data and find out their spatial relevance? And that's what, believe it or not, we're testing in the lab MongoDB for a city system, bringing it together. We don't have to compare ourselves to anyone. We can be what works for us. And to continue to educate the larger market on what these cool companies are doing. Uh, and secondly, there ne needs to be a place to showcase a lot of these great entrepreneurs to uh, folks that aren't only focused on building new businesses, but on helping their existing large companies. We are building this community on the shoulder of giants. But we've also seen this amazing trend of capital coming in from the coast. Uh, more than ever before. Uh, the Chicago tech scene is going to get a lot larger. There's going to be a lot more grassroots sort of events planned, as well as maybe attracting some of the bigger events. This stuff does not happen in the Valley or New York or Texas. You've got bankers mentoring an entrepreneur in software. You've got a lawyer helping out someone else by doing pro bono work. You've got students doing work in a company because they're an alum of that school. That's what happens in Chicago, and it doesn't happen in other places. I sort of see Chicago as a startup. I mean, it really is. It's forming this culture, this like community is gathering, and these people are getting passionate, excited, and motivated to do amazing things, and we're helping each other. I've seen a lot of collaboration for the first time in Chicago, and really bringing together a core community. It's been exciting. I can't believe it.